What made you become an arborist? Well, I started in horticulture. I started working with trees. I enjoyed working with um, big machinery, working at heights, etc. And then I worked out that um, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, there's a lot more to understanding trees. Driving home from work one day thinking, oh, I think I need a change. Um, coming down the Huon Highway, a couple of massive um, poplars um, with people climbing around in the trees. And I was like, that's yeah, nice. like a great job, yep. you know. Went home that night, thought, oh, let's have a look. There was a job, applied for it, got it. And yeah, right. The rest is history, right? Awesome, <laughs> very cool, very cool. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to uh, love to climb trees, as you do, and um, got into horticulture originally uh, with flowers and plants and stuff like that, but my yearning was always to go back to the trees. But when I was young, I read Ina Blyton's The Magic Faraway Tree, Yep. and that tree was an oak tree. Yep. Um, and I always had this, this image in my head of, of this big, enormous tree that all, all sorts of creatures and, and, uh, and characters were living in. And I thought, I just thought that was the, the most awesome um, life you could ever have. <laughs>